Hello, hello, Tanya Richards here, and I am here to do a tutorial on the Toast point of sale back end, um, kind of the back office of the program. I did one in my food truck um, a while back, kind of showing how the process works, how online ordering works. Um, this is kind of the other side, the menu builder, um, the reports, stuff like that, that um, may be able to help you in your journey to choosing a new food truck point of sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here and go over to my Sharon, there we go. Go over to Toast. All right. Um, so I am normally closed on this day, so that's why you'll see that zero dollars real time. So this is anytime you hit your home button in your back, the uh, back end, you're going to see your real time sales. You're also going to see your real time discounts. So, you know, any coupons or um, family, friends, discounts, um, refunds, uh, anything, you know, unhappy customer, you know, you give them something. So that shows up there. Um, you'll also be able to see your sales by category and sales by item and also kind of your time breakdowns. You can um, prepare for takeout or delivery. I do not have delivery options. It's usually me, myself and I running. So not an option. Um, I give myself 15 minutes for orders. You can adjust this as well. So let's just start taking a look at stuff. Um, I'm going to start with the menu builder because this was something that was very intimidating for me when I was thinking about a point of sale, when they start asking about modifiers. And I didn't even know what that was. I was very new to the, the industry in general. So um, when you first are introduced with Toast, You, they will walk you through how to get your menu set up. Um, but it is super simple in your menu. You go to Menu Builder and it starts you on that process. So um, I own Colorado Corn Dog Company in Fraser, Colorado. We sell corn dogs and um, it, whole bunches of fun stuff. So. Uh, my signature entrees are basically anything with a uh, hot dog in it and, of course, our chicken tender baskets. And then I've got burgers and some appetizers, kids and small menus. Um, so let's just say, um, well, like for specials, for example. So I just added yesterday the Baja chicken enchilada soup. Um, grilled cheese. So we're just going to say we're going to add a new soup. In here, you're gonna hit add. You're gonna create a name for it. What's the soup that I would like to bring in? Let's just go chicken noodle. Chicken noodle. Noodle soup. You can choose what color the point of sale button is. So if you haven't watched the first video, go back and watch that, and you can see um, that looks like a good chicken noodle soup color. Um, this soup is amazing. So put in a description, you know, like what's in it, what kind of a flavors, how big the big of a serving is. So let's do like 12 ounce. Um, you can put your calories in there if you know it. It asks if it has alcohol. Absolutely not. You can do a base price or a size price. So if you do have size options, you can do it in here. Um, I don't know. I've never used the open price items. So base price, um, six bucks. You've got your tax rates. You can change that as well. Um, my default is for Frasier. When we do events, we do have to um, change tax, rate, tax rates depending on where we're at. So it's easy to do as well. You can calculate your prices with tax included. I do not. Um, then you've got your modifier group. So um, you can turn that on or off where these modifiers are for a specific group. So like my sauce group um, has all of the sauces that we offer. 
and I don't, I don't charge for sauces, but these are all the sauce options that we have. So for soup, obviously we're probably not gonna need any sauce options. So I'm gonna turn that off. And you can have a kitchen nickname and color if it's different, I don't do that. And then of course you want it to be shown on your point of sale, um, kiosk, toast order and pay and toast online ordering if you have those set up. I don't have any online ordering partners, but I just click it on as well, just so we have it. Then you hit save and that's gonna pop down into your items. I'm going to delete this because it's gonna show up on my online menu if I don't. You also have the option to upload photos so um, or update stock. So um, it will default to in stock. You can do out of stock or limited stock. And the limited stock, you can put like how many servings you have left, which is great. Again, if you have the online ordering option, because um, if you don't have it in stock and it, you don't update this, somebody orders it online, it will let them. Um, if it gets down to zero, it will not let them order this item. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this, advanced edit, nope. Dun, dun, dun. Not what I wanted. Um, just save it. Back to my specials. All right. I will go back in and do that. So this is actually um, adding. Oops, let's go back in. I ended up in an in advanced. All right, menu builder. Super easy. So you can see here's some that I do have some photos of. I have more, I think, of burgers, my burgers. Maybe not. Maybe I have less of my burgers. <laughs> um, breakfast and brunch items. It's probably just my internet slow. So you can upload photos in there. Super easy. Um, go back into specials. really want to just, oh, there it is, remove. There we go. Take that out of there before I forget. All right, back up home. I'm going to go back up and look at some reports. This is where you refund a check. You cannot do that from the point of sale um, from the terminal that I have found. Um, so that is a little kind of irritating, but um, not the end of the world. So we go into sales summary. And you can do, you know, yesterday, custom date, all hours, all employees working. If you want to drill down to just one specific employee, you can do that. I'm going to load this up. And um, it will give you a time of day, your order amount, and you're able to kind of click on that and, and look. Um, you can also integrate a cash drawer. I don't, oh my gosh, sorry. I don't use that functionality. Um, but I, it is nice to know exactly how much came in in credit cards, gift cards, and cash at the end of the day. So when I count down my drawer, this cash number should be like right on, um, and it and it has been um, so far. So that's kind of a reporting. You can also do by um, menu. Sorry, my internet is slow. We live in the mountains and it's just not the greatest. Perform by menu items. Let's go, let's find like a busy time of year for me, like July 
27th through the 2nd. It's getting a little cold, so this week is uh, like ski season hasn't started yet. And um, all right, so this gives you your breakdown, sides and appetizers. I'm behind a brewery most of the time, so that's usually big. Signature Andres, like I said, that's pretty much anything with a hot dog. Burgers, beverages, baskets. So I did make some changes to my menu since then. And um, so it kind of gives you a nice little breakdown of those. You can drill down even more by... Nope, modifiers. Oh, I think the dog needs to go out. Um, what else did I like that was super nice? Um, employees. So it, you just, you can put all of your employees in here. You can have payroll options. So um, you add them in with the code. So they all ring up their, um, enter in their code to get on the point of sale. So you know exactly how long. They also use it to clock in and out, which is great. So you've got your employees here. And I just thought of what I really love um, is the email marketing. So this is all the like analytics and reports. If you are that kind of person, that is my husband. He can have all of that part of it. Um, the finance, the labor, the accounting, the cash. So, um, but I do love the email marketing and the loyalty program. Super nice because... Um, uh, to be able to just, it, it goes off of their credit card number, um, or you, you can, like if they pay cash, it'll ask them to put in their email address and then it will still update their, their points. So these are kind of some ideas, um, for active accounts. So people who come there a lot, um, will get like big spender emails and they'll get little thank yous, um, thank Thanksgiving, you can set up. So let's see, let's go into, this is the one I think I have going out on Thanksgiving day, just to super nice, you know, we're grateful, we're thankful. It's a little animated photo. Um, they've got so many that are already done for you that are great. And along with the, the campaigns, let me see, got more over here. There we go. We miss you, you know, if you haven't seen them for a while, every time they sign up, they get um, a welcome. Oh, this one's the one that's active. Um, they get a welcome email um, just to thank you. If they haven't been there for a while, there's that miss you. Um, and then the big spender. I don't, I don't think I have a big spender one set up, so I got to get that going. Um, they're super easy. You hit new campaign. You want to know if it's an automated where, you know, you're sending them out a birthday or an anniversary or one-time email. There's all these templates here, like, you know, we've got Black Friday, tired of turkey yet, join us for specials on Black Friday, pick up a gift card, you know, dine in or take out. I mean, this is perfect. Like I could just send this right now if I wanted to, but um, I mean, it's got our logo up here but you would still hit continue and then you can change this. So maybe the template's kind of what you want, but you need to change that, um, change your subject, whatever. You can include a promotion. So if you do want to give a discount, you can set up um, promo codes for them to use online when they purchase, or it, you can set that up here. You go in and you edit the content, which I love to be able to edit content. And I am going to send this out. They're going to just let them know they can get some gift cards. I only do the um, digital gift cards because purchasing gift cards, like the actual plastic gift cards, is super expensive. So, oh my gosh. Um, That'll be goals. So like in your header here, if you click on this, 
or this link. So Black Friday, right? You want them to go to your website. So I'm going to put in here. If they click on this link, it's going to take them in the email. It's going to take them to my website. All right. Dine in or take out Colorado corn dog company. See our menu. So again, I'm going to put, Oh, it's already got it in there. It's got already got that in there. You can change the colors of the fonts. You can change the, um, placements. You can eat or, um, edit, delete. If I want to delete this, I can just delete that box, delete that box. Um, yeah, you just change, change the text by clicking, you hit save. And then you have the option to, um, once you hit continue, you have the option to either go in and go back to your dashboard, delete the draft. You can edit the content. You can go back in. Um, whoops. It should give me the option to save, to schedule, or just send it. So... So those are some of the, um, I'm going to exit, exit that. So lots and lots of options. Those are the ones that I like the most, um, for what I do with it. So I'll pop back over, stop screen share. All right. So hopefully, um, that is helpful. Sorry. It was a little bit long, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, best email address is Tanya, T-O-N-J-A, at authenticallyoutloud.com. And I will answer any questions that you have or get you a referral link. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.